what's the difference between dark matter and antimatter okay let's talk about antimatter first okay what is antimatter antimatter is a very straightforward thing it's a type of matter that is composed of anti particles an anti particle has the same mass as its regular particle of ordinary matter but it has the opposite electric charge and it has the opposite quantum properties so it is not just charged in an opposite manner positive to negative but the quantum numbers are also the quantum properties are, all, are also the opposite and when a particle and an, and its corresponding anti particle meet they annihilate then they release a tremendous amount of well a very properly measurable amount of energy in the process so uh, for example the, we are familiar with electrons yes electrons electric shocks so electrons have anti particles called positrons so the positron has the same mass is the electron but instead of a negative charge it has a positive charge so that's a positron that's the anti particle of the electron now we know of protons protons are positively charged they are components of the, of the nuclei right so the proton has an anti particle called the anti proton so the anti proton has the exact same mass as a proton but it has a negative charge the neutron is also a component of the nuclei of various atoms apart from from hydrogen so the neutron as we know is a neutrally charged particle it has no real charge no charge even the neutron has an anti particle called the anti neutron which once again is electrically electrically neutron but it has the opposite baryon number okay then neutrinos have corresponding anti neutrinos with opposite lepton numbers so like i said when particles and anti particles come together in the meet they annihilate each other in a burst of energy typically photons and these are typically high energy photons gamma rays and or and it could be also particle anti particle pairs uh so yeah that's how it goes and uh, anti part anti matter can be produced in uh, particle colliders like the large hadron collider particle collisions and accelerators and also in certain types of radioactive decay spontaneously and yeah that's what antimatter is now what is dark matter dark matter is nothing to, it has nothing to do with antimatter it is that mysterious 25% or so of the universe that we don't understand if we look at the total mass energy composition of the universe we see a lot of stuff out there in the universe don't we we see stars galaxies nebulae nebulas quasars pulsars neutron stars whatever all that you add all of that together all of that matter together in the universe that makes up only 4% of the mass of the universe 4%. That's it. The rest of the universe is unknown. It is dark. We only understand 4% of the universe and that too not very well. Okay? So, then there is about 25 or so percent roughly which is dark matter and the rest about 70-71%, maybe 69% is dark energy which is even more mysterious. I'll not go into that dark energy because you didn't ask me about that. So, what's dark matter? Dark matter is most likely some kind of particle or particles which interact only gravitationally some physicists will say that dark matter can have the weak interaction well that, for me that's not dark matter because we can detect neutrinos i know that most of them pass through us there are trillions of solar neutrinos that are passing through my body right now every second and they typically don't interact at all with the ordinary matter but yes we can still detect neutrinos which means that they are not dark matter from my perspective dark matter has to be purely gravitating matter some weird kind of particle that we are not familiar with or family of particles or class of particles so it's quite likely there is dark matter in this room with me and it may be passing through me right now and it may interact even more weakly than than uh, neutrinos way more weakly than neutrinos or it is essentially impossible to detect but we can detect it, its presence through gravitational lensing and the dark matter halos that are known to exist around around galaxies and so on so it is some kind of matter that we don't know that we are unable to understand probably some kind of particle or particles maybe it has something to do with primordial black holes or microscopic black holes or perhaps bound states stable bound states of microscopic black holes quantum bound states perhaps who knows hmm? so yeah that's the difference between dark matter and antimatter